Hello, sports fans and baseball fans out there and fans of Out of the Park Baseball. I know, you're sitting there thinking, I thought he forgot about Out of the Park. And then some of you are sitting there thinking, I wish he had forgotten about Out of the Park. But I didn't. Guess what? I didn't. So, you know, we're in the 1995 season of Out of the Park. We did a 1994 season with the White Sox where I am the White Sox manager and only the manager. There is a general manager who gets players for me. Um, and we went to the World Series in 1994 and we lost to Houston. And in real life, 1994 was a strike-shortened season that was never completed. But in out-of-the-park world, with all the players that I got, you know, some of the new players and, you know, made up players and some of the players who were never on the White Sox. We went to the World Series against Houston and we lost in seven games. So here we are in 1995, again, with players that my GM went out and got for me who may not necessarily have been on the White Sox. And in fact, many of them weren't. And uh, we are in um, the throes of a six game losing streak. No one in their right mind would bet against the Chicago White Sox. As you can see, if you look at the screen and you see us in the Central Division, we are, in fact, uh, two and eight in our last ten, and we are on a six-game losing streak and with a record of 51 and 46. So the owner, and here we are, just so I highlight it for you, so you can see. So my owner obviously can't be happy about that. If we go down to the wild card, here we are in the wild card standings. And we are eight and a half out in the wild card. And we are 13 and a half out in the division. So we're not having as good a uh, season as we did in real life um, in 1994. Well, it wasn't real. I wish it was real life, but... <coughs> We didn't have we're not having as good a season as we did in the 94 season and out of the park. So um, With all of that having been said um, And uh, yeah, let's see. Let's get going on this So there you go, we've got the uh, I'm gonna move myself here just for a minute um, uh, But you can see we've got the lineups uh, we're playing the Brewers. The Brewers lineup is uh, Morgan in center field, Chris Morgan. Now, we had him last year on my White Sox. I think he's a made-up player. Uh, they have Bill Spires, who is not at all made up at third base. And losing, he's getting, uh, he's a little tired, as you can see right here. Um, Jose Valentin at short, Greg Vaughn in left. Troy O'Leary at DH, uh, John Jaha at first base, Ward and Wright, Kurt Manwaring at catcher, and uh, Thompson at second base, Robbie Thompson. And uh, we've got Mike Mims is pitching for Milwaukee. Now, of course, that team has a very definite Milwaukee flavor to it. As all these teams do, my White Sox have a White Sox flavor to them. And speaking of my White Sox, we're going to line up as Lance Johnson in center. Uh, Maloney at second base. I have no idea who Maloney is. I don't even know if he's made up, whatever. Frank the Big Erd Thomas at DH. Franco at first base. Robin High Ventura, who is also getting tired at third base. Third base must be a brutal position to play because... Both Spires and Ventura are winding down. Um, and I'm not going to make the change because we're in a six-game losing streak. Uh, Jackson is in right field. Nunnally in left. Felix Fermin at short. Carco Weiss at catcher. And we got Black Jack McDowell trying to end this six-game losing skid. And now we will start the game. I said we will start the game. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to put myself up here, kind of off in the corner a little bit. I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, we're going to pitch to the batter. 
So we got Jack McDowell dealing to this uh, Brewer lineup. Now, the Brewers are worse than us, so I'm really hoping that we kind of, uh, you know, win this game. And now McDowell's finally ready to pitch. And that looks like a ground out to short, and it is. And uh, with one down, we are going to pitch to the batter. And that's going to be a base hit. For Spy is that Spires? Is that the tired Spires that we were talking about? All right, so um, yeah, that was Spires. He doesn't look too tired to me. Uh, Valentin is up. Jose Valentin, and Jose Valentin goes down the line. He's gonna get a double out of that bad boy. But because Spires is tired and can't run anyway when he isn't tired. He stopped at third base. So now we've got <laughs> we've got Greg Vaughn up. Hopefully Black Jack can get him to pop out or something. Alright, well that's that's good. That holds the runners. So runners at second and third, two down. And Troy O'Leary is the DH. And he is going to hopefully ground out, and he does. So there was a little, you know scary moment there presented by the Brewers but they came away with no runs and now Mike Mims Mr. Mims is out on the mound pitching to Lance Johnson and Big Lance is going to ground out to third for the first out now we got the tired Ventura up or is it no it's Maloney Ventura is in the lineup but not second Maloney is out. He flew out deep. And now Big Frank, the hurt. Put a hurting on it, and uh, he doesn't. So he grounds out, and we go one, two, three. And the Brewers had a much better showing in that first inning. We go to the top of the second, and uh, it's going to be John Jaha. The man had power. You can say that about him. And, uh, but he's going to fly out to left here for the first out for the Brewers and Turner Ward. I knew it was something that started with T because it said T, but I don't, but Turner Ward was a real player and he probably really was on the Brewers from what I remember. And that's going to be a base hit. And now there's going to be runners at the corners. The Brewers are just all over Black Jack. He better go to the blackjack table. All right, we got it. We caught it in center field. No, no. What? What happened? My God, that was a double because uh, we got a stupid guy out in center. All right, so <laughs> that's gonna be a fly out to right, but that'll score the guy from third because it's a rainbow throw to third to the plate. And now the the Brewers are all over us. And there's a, there's a walk to load the bases up. Good to go, Jack. And that's going to be a ground out to second, but we're down 2 nothing. Are we only down 2 nothing? It's amazing, but yes, we're only down 2 nothing. Mims goes out to face Julio down by the schoolyard, Franco. And he is going to ground out to short, one away. Which brings up... Robin High Ventura. And he is going to ground out to second. So he clearly is tired. Or just not having a good day. Well, he's 0 for 1. But anyway, Darren Jackson is going to fly very deep to center field. And we get no runs there. We go to the top of the third. Black Jack winding down already. A little more used up than you'd like to see normally. That's going to be a ground out to short, though, for one down. And uh, Troy O'Leary up. Troy O'Leary is going to place the ball right in front of the left fielder because he didn't feel like he wanted to go after the ball. So John Jaha is up, and that's going to be, is that an out? No. He's safe. Troy O'Leary steals second. 
And uh, yeah, there we we got a ground out, but that moved the Troy that moved Troy O'Leary to third with now two down. And let's see if we can get the final out of the inning, and we can. And there's a strikeout. So Blackjack barely gets out of that inning without more damage being done. And we have John Nunnally. Now John Nunnally, I believe, was a real player. I don't think he was on the White Sox, or maybe he was. I don't know, but I do remember him being a real player at least. So we got Felix Fermin. Now Felix Fermin, I don't think was ever really on the White Sox, but. Right there, he grounds out, and now Mims is dealing to Karkovice. We need Karkovice to go deep. That's what we needed, and we got it. We got it. So, yeah, Karkovice taking, taking Mims out of the park, and that's what the name of this game is, out of the park, and we need to do that a little bit more. So, it's 2-1. to one. We're in this game. We're really in this game. I've got to, It's going to be a tough decision whether I go to the bullpen. But then again, is my bullpen gassed? And we don't know. We won't know until I want to check it. But Jack McDowell is making it so that I will be checking it. And he gets a base hit up the middle. He a lot. Well, Jack McDowell allows the base hit. So uh, that was... Who was that? Um... That was Manwaring. Are you kidding me? Manwaring got a base hit. Now there's a bunt, and McDowell decides to go for the man at first. I know, that's the Billy Bean philosophy. Just throw... All right, nice little pop out to uh, Ventura for two down. And Spires. Spires strikes out, so he really is tired. And now Mims is out there facing Ryan Maloney. Ryan Maloney looks like he's going to ground out. We are here in the bottom of the fourth. Love and life and Frank Thomas up. Now Frank Thomas, no, he's not going to hit one. So there's two down very quickly. And Julio down by the schoolyard. He's got power. He could tie the game. But he walks. I'll take it. It's a man on base. But, you know, sooner or later we're going to pay the fiddler by just not hitting it out. But Ventura is going to fly out to center. I thought maybe he could take that thing to the wall. All right. So we're in the top of the fifth. Um, McDowell is still giving me the fifth, at least, it looks like. So that's good. Because with my luck, the bullpen is gassed. And that is going to be a base hit right past the shortstop. Handcuffed for mean. You don't hear that though, that phrase very often, but that's what happened there. And it's back to McDowell. He decides to get the lead runner this time. What a guy. So there is two down, and you've got John Jaha. And John Jaha strikes out. And let's see if we can get another inning, one more inning out of McDowell. But we're in the bottom of the fifth right now. Trying to get a tying run here. And that's going to be a pop out to the second baseman. One down and uh, Nunnally up. Nunnally's got some home runs this year. And did I just call it? No, it's a fly ball. <laughs> it's a fly ball. So we got two down really quickly again, and that looks like it'll be an out, and it is a ground out to short. We come away with nothing, and uh, we still got Jack Black Jack McDowell with some gas in the tank, and he is going to stay out there. And the second baseman did not get it. He tried to get it, but he didn't. At least he... I'll give him an A for effort on that one. But this is a pop fly, and that is going to be an out. So the second baseman makes that play. You got Robbie Thompson up. Robbie Thompson, is he out? No, because it's a bad throw. We can't catch a break this game. I mean, we're playing a team that's terrible. And, no, oh, was that a bullet throw that got the guy at the plate? It was. Unbelievable. <laughs> Jack McDowell with cat-like reactions, which he didn't really have. 
But he walks a guy here, and there's two on with two down. And that's going to be past the shortstop, and that's going to be a run. And we're down 3-1. Let's see what the gas tank says. No, the gas tank says he still has gas, so a little bit. But no, he gets ripped down the left field line for another run, maybe two, maybe six. Oh, boy. We are in bad shape here. It's four to one. And uh, is that going to be a fly out? Let's hope it is. Yeah. All right. Well, it's four to one now, so we're in trouble. Karkavice, he's he accounted for our only run with a solo shot. Let's see if he can add a solo shot here. No, but he adds a base hit. The man was not known for hitting either, so that's pretty significant. Lance Johnson is up. Lance Johnson is going to fly out to right field. There's one down with Maloney up. And Maloney laces a base hit. I am not going to run with Cargovice at all. I would not run with Cargovice if there was a guy with no arms out in the outfield. So the bases are loaded with only one out, and we got Julio Franco up. You know you can do that. Franco and Franco walk, so it's 4-2. to two. We got a chance now. I mean, the bases are loaded. There's only one out in Robin High Ventura. Robin High Ventura rips a base hit and ties the game. Maybe. No, it's Frank Thomas. Cannot send Frank Thomas, the big lumbering Frank Thomas. Got a lot of power. He's a great hitter, but... We've got Darren Jackson up. Let's let Darren Jackson try it. No, he strikes out. We're only down by a run. Come on, we need this Nunnally. Come on, man. Nunnally! It's going to go deep, deep. Home run! <laughs> yeah. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. See this? This is my boom <laughs> Not only puts his head. I can't believe this. What a turn of events. Not only going deep with the bases loaded on a salami. All right, well, uh, now it's 7-4. It's a big change in the complexion of the game. And uh, you got Navarro out there now pitching to Fermin. And for me, it looks like it's going to fly out to center. So I, you know what? I didn't warm somebody up, but I'm hoping that there's just a little bit of gas left. There is just a little bit of gas left in McDowell's tank. Although you wouldn't know it because he just walked a guy. And uh, is that going to, yeah, the park will hold that one. So it's a fly out. One down, and yeah, he's got, you know, he'll just barely make it through this inning, I think. Throw him out! No, he didn't, because he threw a lollipop over there. Two runners are on with one out. Come on, man, get me through this inning. Karkovice, you got that, man. And he does. All right, now I'm going to warm somebody up. Let's get... Ignaciak up in the bullpen. Go back to the game action, and you got um, McDowell on fumes and getting the final out. Yes, seven to four. We got the lead here. All right, uh, bottom of the seventh, and you got Carco Vice. Up at the plate, and didn't he go deep again? No, he went off the wall. But it's going to be a double, even for the slow-running, lumbering Karkovice. Now, you would think I would put a pinch runner in, and I just might do that. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's put a pinch runner in for Karkovice. 
And that's going to be Gian. So now if there's a base hit, um, we may score on that. And there's a walk. So two on with no outs and Maloney up. And Maloney is going to fly out. And nobody advancing. One down and Frank Thomas up. Frank Thomas is going to hit a telephone booth home run all the way up in the air and uh, caught by the first baseman and Julio down by the schoolyard. Franco is up and he is going to ground out. So I tried, <coughs> I tried, man. All right, so we're going to put Ignatiak in the game and we are going to Put Jim Weaver in at catcher. The Jim Weaver is going to be the new catcher. And it says he's cold, but, you know, I don't care whether he's cold or not. He needs to put a sweater on then. But we've got Ignatiak out on the mound trying to nail this thing down. And that's going to be a bunt, and it's an out. Ignatiak throws him out. One down. And uh, here comes the Spires, the tired... Spires. And he's going to ground out to first, showing his fatigue in the biggest way. And Jose Valentin is now up. And Jose Valentin's going to ground out to first base. Nice one, two, three inning for the Ignatiac man. And we're going to keep him out there in the ninth. But right now, in the bottom of the eighth, we would like a few more runs just to make sure we put this thing away. And that's going to be a ground out by Ventura. He's tired. Why not? You know. Um, Darren Jackson is up. And Darren Jackson walks because that ball was up uh, way above his head. That was up in the upper deck. And that's going to be a walk. So we got two runners on and uh, Felix Fermin up. And Felix Fermin is going to fly out, and I'm going to say no, let's not run on that, come on. And uh, Jim Weaver, the catcher, let's get Jim Weaver in at bat, you know. Let's get him out of that funk that he's in. Well, he hit it deep, but it's a fly out to left field. So we just have to stop the Brewers, and more correctly, Ignatiak has to stop the Brewers from getting three runs. And that's a little pop fly to Ignatiak, or a little pop out. One down, and that's going to be, it's going to fall in front of the right fielder. Because he didn't feel like running up to get it. There's one down, and that is going to be a rip in the hole between short and third, with two runners on now, at first and second, with no outs. But that's going to be a ground out, that'll be at least one out, and that's all we do get. And Ignatiak has still got the gas in the tank, so I'm going to keep him out there. I'm not warming anybody up. And that's a strikeout, and I believe that is a win for us. And let's take a look at that. Yeah, Brewers get clonked by the White Sox, 7-4. to four. They did get clonked because there was a big grand slam, salami for us. And uh, I'll let you guys look at the box scores for the batting, you know. Let's see. Let's move myself out of here a little bit. So you can get a good look at everybody's box score and what they're doing on the year. Maloney hitting 193, pretty depressing. Weaver, they said he was cold, and I guess 113 is as cold as you get. Um, and then you got McDowell pitching, uh, not well. I mean, he was he pitched well, I guess. He allowed four runs, but only two were earned. But he allowed ten hits and only struck out three. But Ignatiak nailed it down, and that is going to be that is going to be the uh, game for me, and 